My name is Mr. Butte and I teach AP Human Geography. My name is Ms. Protestio and I teach AP Language and Composition. My name is Mr. Wimmer. I teach AP 2D Art Design or uh, AP Studio essentially, AP Art History and we also have at school AP 3D. So my name is Mr. Randall. So. I teach AP Chemistry. So my name is Ms. Ramirez and I teach AP Government and Politics. In Social Studies, uh, this class is differentiated between what most freshmen and sophomores would actually be taking because it's it's only course offering of its kind. And so really what it does is it blends um, a lot of the geography aspects um, about location and that sort of stuff and also involves other uh, historical components. In this class specifically, it's a focus on nonfiction. A regular English class has more fiction in it. It's also a composition class, so there's more writing. And then we move at a quicker pace. The AP curriculum for the, the art side of it, we really build on concept in terms of the art making in the classroom. Well, the AP classes are really college credit classes, so this is a college level chemistry class. So it's going to have a lot more depth, it's going to go a lot quicker, there's going to be more topics and more depth within the topic. So my AP course goes a little bit more in depth into all of the government concepts. Many of you may have remember taking government in at the ninth grade level, but the senior government class goes lot more in depth we get into more conversation about political issues going on now and kind of deeper on how our government is structured and how it works so specifically for AP human geography the benefits are is that this is the only AP course offering at your freshman level the AP curriculum would actually have you traditionally do this class in just one single semester we spread this curriculum out over an entire year which allows for the pacing of the AP, but the rigor of the content to be something to where students are able to warm up to the idea of understanding what an AP class actually is requiring of students. Benefits, it's like a thousand dollar scholarship if you earn a qualifying score. Um, so a three, four, or five on the exam will earn you college credit. Also, for this class specifically, because it's a composition class, it's going to have a positive impact on any class you take at the college level, just on your writing in general, outside of school. There are many benefits of taking the AP course because it's essentially a college level classroom at the high school level. Uh, being able to come to school five days a week, which is a little bit different than college where you go two or three days a week, coming every day for that consistency. AP classes prepare you better for college. They get you ready. They're getting you ready for the workload you're gonna have in college. They're getting you ready for the time management problems you're gonna have in college. They get you ready for a lot more self-directed. You have to be. So especially for our seniors, if you're looking at any career that is um, kind of social studies or government track, taking this government course in general looks really good. If you are able to get a qualifying score on the AP exam, it counts as college credit. So the downsides are pretty minimal as long as you're willing to commit to the time and also be, being a student of the content. Um, those are the biggest things that you have to be willing to do. Sometimes it will require for you to sacrifice certain social time uh, because of the requirements of needing to be able to stay on top of the course load. Because it's a college level class, it's more intensive. Um, also, the time involved is more. I always tell kids to plan for at least um, an hour a night in this class. I don't know if there's really any downside besides being able to time management. In some cases that traditional AP classes, there'll be a lot of stuff outside the classroom that you'll have to be prepared for. I think the art department has done a really good job of giving students adequate time in the classroom to get everything done where there's very little out of the classroom work. Well, the biggest potential downside to taking an AP class is the fact that it does have to take a lot of time. And so some kids end up with burnout I mean, it just happens. They do too many AP classes or 
Um, they don't realize how much work they're going to get into. It's a commitment. It could be a workload. You do have quite a bit of work to do in and outside of class, but I think just with a great schedule and time management, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get it done. In human geography, it gets to be able to explore a whole bunch of different facets of the world of social studies. It's a great introductory course that allows for us to dig deeper on certain questions that we don't necessarily get to dive um, into as deeply in just some of those other survey courses like history and or government and economics and that sort of stuff. I love seeing the growth in students from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. I love everything about teaching it except for um, scoring all the essays, reading and giving feedback, <laughs> except for grading, um, but that's any English teacher. It's essentially a, an independent study, so I love that freedom and being very open in terms of their artwork and the critiques that they, um, of the work that they present. It makes it a really professional relationship, again, at the high school level, so it's, it's a lot of fun to be a, a teacher of, and it's a really humbling experience. What's really special about AP Chemistry is I think it does more um, mathematical problem solving and it gives you an approach to solving problems um, that are based in real world observations. And I think those skills actually translate to a lot of different things. I like the conversations that we have. It's in depth, it's funny, it's fun. We have um, closer relationships. It's a little bit smaller of a class, so you're a little bit more connected to your classmates and it's higher level thinking. So the importance of understanding about it is to understand that expectations of you are high um, expectations shouldn't be lowered um, and, and that sort of stuff to, to know that what you're getting into is something that allows for you to be able to earn um, potential college credit for how well you do on that AP test at the end of the year. AP courses in general, I truly think that because of the rising cost of you know college education that it's just beneficial to try and earn some of that credit in high school. Other than just it's going to give you a lot more options and opportunities at the next level if you are specifically thinking about becoming an artist or an art historian or getting a major in any of those in that art realm of art history or in studio art, it is a great opportunity to be, to be given this opportunity at the high school level to be with teachers that we all have degrees and are, we're here for a reason and can really help out young artists and progress the art world. It can be fun, but it's going to be a lot of work. Um, it will be humbling at times, but if you're willing to persevere, it can be very much well worth it. It's definitely challenging and it's definitely a lot of work, but it's well worth it. <laughs>